Hello, this is Mr Ince. I hope you are all very well. I've been thinking of all of year four and I still miss you all very much. So I look forward to seeing your happy smiley faces in year five. Today we're going to do a virtual lesson in maths to help you be more successful with multiplying numbers and using your times tables. It's all about being more successful with multiplication. We're not going to look at every part of the first 12 times tables, but we will look at five key rules to help you all to do well next year. Now, please pause the video and make sure you've got some paper and a pencil. If you've now unpaused, we can proceed. As I said, it's all about being successful with multiplication. Why do we need to do this? Well, it will make year five maths lessons easier, more successful, and it's also going to help you to do your best in year six SATs and also the transition test as well. In the real world, people use m multiplication all of the time. Here, how many new windows do I need to buy? Well, I can count them individually, or I can see there are three rows, and each row has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, three rows of seven. You all know the answer, or some of you are working out three times seven. So I've got seven times three is, I'm going to give you a few more seconds. Yes, 21. How much will it cost to buy seven ice cream cones with a flake? I can see here they're incredibly good value, only 4p each. I wish that was true in the real world. Seven of those, four pence each. In fact, I've already uncovered the answer here. What's meant to happen is that that would be covered, but it doesn't really matter. We know the correct answer is 28p. Can we work out why? Seven lots of four, 28. You can count in fours. If you hold up your uh, seven fingers, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Let's have a look at the next one. How much will it cost to buy six tubs? Here, tubs are 12 pence each. Pause the video. See if you can work this one out on your own. If you've now unpaused the video, let's have a look at it. Six tubs and they're 12 pence each. So I've got 12 pence times by six tubs is, well, firstly, six times two is 12. And then we've got six times 10. Six times 10 is 60. If you add those two parts together, it makes, of course, 72, 72p indeed. By the end of year four, you really should know all of your first twi uh, 12 times tables, which is 144 maths facts. This is what you really, really should know by the end of year four. And it's almost the end of year four now. But the good news is you do have the summer holidays if you need that bit extra time to feel more confident with them. I'm going to talk to you about five steps to help you to be more successful. This is an easy one to start with. Multiplying by one. Here, three times one. Three times one is three, of course. Any number times by one equals the same number. So five times one is five. 17 times one is 17. 170 times 1 is 170. Any number times by 1 is the same number. So mention 17 times 1, you'll all know it by now. It's 17. And if you know, if you remember that, you'll know all of these in the first 12 times tables and all of those. That's already 23 out of the 144. Next, multiply by 10. Well, I think you all know these. You all know that multiplying a number by 10 gives you, the, uh, gives you the answer. 2 times 10 is 20. 11 times 10 is 110. 10 times 7 is 70. I think every person here knows their place value and knows that the numbers move to the left and they're getting bigger to the power of 10. Multiplying by 11, rule number three. This is another easy one. 1 times 11 is 11. 2 times 11 is 
22. 3 times 11 is... 3 11s. Or 11 plus 11 plus 11. Yes, it's 33. 4 times 11, which is 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11. It's 44. And 5 times 11 is, of course, 55. How about the big numbers? 10 times 11. 10 times 11. I bet most of you know this. It's 110. 11 times 11. In fact, even adults uh, sometimes struggle to remember these. What I do is I always remember what 10 times 11 is, 110. And 11 times 11 is just an, another 11 on top of that. So it's 110 plus another 11, which is, of course, 121. And then if you can remember the last answer, 11 times 11 is 121. Well, what's 12 times 11? Well, you're adding another 11 to 121, which is, of course, 132. So 12 times 11 is 132. And if you can multiply by 11 and remember those facts, it means you know all of these, which is another 23 facts that you know out of the 144. Rule number four, another easy one, multiplying by two. One times two is... Yes, it's two. One lot of two is two. And it's the same, of course, as adding a repeated addition. So one plus one is two. Two times two is the same as two plus two. It is, of course, four. Three times two is the same as the number plus the same number again. Three plus three is six. Three times two is six. Nine times two is the same as the number plus the same number again. So there's two lots of nine. In fact, you can use your fingers for this. As you can see with the image there, I've got two pairs of hands, so you really need two people for that. But you could put nine in your head and have nine fingers, as or eight fingers and one thumb, nine in your head. You can add 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Nine plus nine is 18. Nine times two is 18. If you can do those, and you might need some practice with that, and that's what uh, Education City's for, or even better, Times Tables Rockstars, if you want to do any practice with any of those, that will help you. But if you do know your multiplying by two in your Times Tables, you'll know all of these, which is another 23 answers. It's not 24, of course, because we don't want to count two times two twice, because they're in, in this column here and this row here. Multiplying by five. This is my fifth and final simple rule for now. Seven times five. Well actually when you're multiplying the numbers are commutative. Hopefully you all remember that word commutative. It's like when you're an adult and you go to work that's far far away say across London you might be a commuter. You're going to travel in you're going to come back. Okay with maths Commutative means you can swap the numbers round, and it still gives you the same answer. So 7 times 5 is actually the same as 5 times 7. In my head, I can count more easily in fives. So 5 times 7, how would I do that? Oh, well, I'm going to pretend each finger or thumb e equals 5. So I need to hold up 7 fingers, or 6 fingers and 1 thumb. I'm going to count 5 for every one. So the first one is 5, second one 10, 15. 20, 25, 30, 35. I'll stop there because that's the seven, seven, uh, seven fingers, six fingers and one thumb. So seven times five is the same as five lots of sevens. And it is, of course, 35. If you can count in fives, whether that's five times seven that we did or five times uh, 12. So again, you're doing 12 times by five you will be able to do another 23 times tables. If you keep mastering these five simple rules, then you will already know most of your times tables. As mentioned at the start of the lesson, we will not cover every times table in this one video, but it should show you how every pupil in year four can be successful with multiplication.
For some of you in year four, these questions may be easy. I can picture some of you nodding now. Yes, Mr. Ince, very, very easy. Good. You do that in my lessons as well. And then when it comes to the independent tasks, it's not always as easy. And some hands got very quickly, uh, especially the ones who have said it's so easy. Um, and it's not always easy. But if it is, great. I want you all to be successful and to get them correct on your own. But if they were tricky, then keep trying. You can play this video again. Play it two or three times. Play it slowly. Pause a lot. Write down the, the answer to the questions. But keep trying because I want you all to start year five successfully. And a reminder, Time Table Rockstars is another brilliant way to help you to be more successful. It's fun. You collect lifetime points. You can change your picture, your avatar and get cool images in there. I really like the NHS one that you can add. I think that might be even free. Um, so go on there, challenge yourself. You can even do um, competitions so you can set scores and send them to me. I've sent lots of challenges to lots of children and I can see those who have joined in and I see those who have not yet found it or not yet tried. But you can all try and you can all do really well with that and it is a terrific resource to help you practice at your own pace. Your turn now. I provided three uh, worksheets, three PDFs at, at three different levels. One's mild, one's spicy, and one's extra hot. The extra hot one will need explaining. I suggest you read the words carefully on the sheet. It's got everything you need, and I'm sure you'll do a terrific job. So please challenge yourself. A reminder, you can just open up the PDFs. You don't have to print them off if that's a, a challenge for you at home. Not everybody's got lots of ink and paper. So you can just open the PDFs, and you can write your answers on a sheet of paper or in a book that we've given you. There's no need to actually print them out. So please now turn to the challenges, do one of them or two of them, or even if you're feeling extra brilliant and positive and focused and enthusiastic, feel free to do all three. That will be wonderful. Remember, the more you do, the more you help you. And that's what I would like every single one of you to do. The final bit is plenary. Here, it's a little bit different. We're moving our learning on a bit more. We've been looking at how to be successful with multiplication. It is quite tricky to do too much of that in one short lesson. But it's just a quick recap of things that most of you already know. <clears throat> in the real world, we do use multiplication a lot. So for example, if you and your family are thinking of going on a holiday, hopefully COVID will be easing and things are becoming more normal by the week. Let's pretend a flight to Greece is £228 each. How much will it cost for my family of four people to go to Greece? Four people, £228. Pause the video. Write down your calculation to see how you would work out that answer because you are using multiplication. If you've unpaused it, let's have a look at the working out. Please be sensible here. So we know each flight is £228. We know there are four people. What do we do first? Well, we look at the ones column, not the tens, not the hundreds, not the pound symbol. Four times eight. Four eights are 32. Now it's 4 times 20. 420. It's 80. Now 4 times 200. 4 lots of 200 are 800. And now we must remember to add them all together. So 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 3 plus 8 is 11. So we have one over here. It's £912. If you got that correct, brilliant. Well done indeed. I think that's the end. But just a quick reminder, in fact, if you've got, uh, if you've got the desire to be the best you possibly can be and be ready for Year 5, again, Timetables Rockstars is brilliant. 
or my maths as well I've set lots of activities for you to do if you need your login details please reply to this email but otherwise goodbye for now and I look forward to seeing all of you in September very best wishes for a pleasant uh, summer break to you and your family this will be the, the last lesson from the year 4 team for now until September goodbye